Hello again. Um, okay, first off, there's not going to be anything interesting visual to look at, so that's why I just put the clouds up there. I basically just have some things I want to talk about to just sort of get off my chest. Um, what I want to talk about are the stages that one may go through when they're discovering the effect for the first time. Um, these are the stages I personally have gone through as well as what I've heard others describe in their videos. You know, it's almost like stages of grief when you think about it. I remember years ago when my mom died and I was given one of those pamphlets on the stages of grief and what to expect. And I thought that was kind of funny in a sad way back then as if all my problems would be answered in that small pamphlet. Um, but anyways, a lot of the Mandela quantum effect stages seem to be similar to what I remember reading in that pamphlet. I guess I could see how that would be. Um, in essence, when, when one day you suddenly realize that so much of what you remember is not true anymore, and you can't find any evidence anywhere of that memory, it is like something has died. It's gone. And as far as you know, it's not coming back. That would be sort of like grief. Anyhow, first thing I felt was total disbelief. I remember thinking to myself, actually saying out loud, what? No, wait, what, what? Just total disbelief. And then there was self-doubt. Okay, let me think. I must have remembered this wrong. Nobody is talking about this offline, anyhow. I must be losing my mind, maybe just a little bit. And then you argue with yourself. It's like, no, no, I'm not losing my mind. I do remember this right. And then you realize, because of some of the effects are very personal with attachments to your past, it makes it irrefutable. Um, and once you come to the acceptance of this new reality that you live in, you get pissed. I remember, I got really, really mad one day. Like, who the fuck thinks it's okay to do this? These are my memories. This is my past. This is my reality. Who or what would do this? They have no right. This is just wrong. And then you feel sadness and confusion. And you feel isolated and alone. And then angry again. And then you finally feel a new sort of acceptance. Um, with some of these changes, you feel like laughing. Because it gets to the point where it's just plain comical. It really is. And every so often, a new effect creeps up that um, hits you personally again. And you almost start the whole process over again. You'll get used to it, though. You will. Just think of it as a new way of life, I guess. You'll make adjustments um, to how you deal with new discovered effects. You'll see the changes and have perfectly normal reactions to them. You may at times repeat this grieving process again and again, but it'll be quicker and shorter. The one aspect to all of this that I am having a really hard time with, though, and this is my main reason for creating a YouTube channel, is the isolation. You come across people who don't see it, and that's cool, since, I mean, that's their reality, just like this is mine. I can't be annoyed with them or try to convince them. But then there are the people who do see some of what you're saying, and you can see that they know deep inside what you're talking about. But then they get this glaze in their eyes, and they become adamant. And they, they just don't want to talk about it. They they become adamant that it's it's not happy, happening. And those are the people that hurt me. I mean, how can you see what I see? Know a little bit about what I know and then make me feel isolated and stupid? Best way I can describe it is the feeling like you're sort of standing outside of a big circle drawn on the ground, let's say. Give you a visual. And most everyone you know is inside that circle. There are a bunch of other people outside the circle with you, but most are people you don't know and have just met. Which is cool since you're meeting more like-minded people, but 
some of the people you were so very close to and love are inside the circle, no longer at your side where you feel they belong. The hardest one is when they do stay inside the circle by choice, not because they truly don't see what you see, but because they refuse to and want to pretend it away so they can just go on living their blind, regular, so-called life. They choose to step away from your side, and that, that hurts. That really hurts. Um, the one consolation for me is that my kids do see this along with me. In fact, my oldest is the one who brought it to light for me. He is one of the most logical, scientific, and analytical people that I know. I was aware somewhat about the effect before he mentioned it, but thought maybe I was losing my mind, you know, so I didn't say anything to anybody. But once he said something about it, my boy, who is so logical sometimes that our discussions often turn into great debates, where I usually let him win. We'll probably have a debate about that comment once he watches this. Um, once he said something about the Mandela effect, I knew I wasn't losing my mind. Unfortunately, my kids live on the other side of the country, so even though they stand outside the circle with me, they're so, so far away. Um, another thought lately that I feel out of sorts, like, I don't know, like things just aren't the same anymore. And I don't mean just the changes that we've seen. I mean something else I can't quite put my finger on. I feel like I'm going through the motions every day, but they mean nothing. I feel like I'm waiting for something. I can just waiting. The hell if I know what it is. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Maybe some of you guys have had the same feelings. But I guess I'll just wrap it up. I had to make this video real quick while um, one of the people that I care about stepped out of the house. And this person is one of those that sees it and refuses it. And that, I, that really hurts. Yeah, I made the mistake of mentioning that I was doing this YouTube thing, you know, because it, it sort of helps me along with this whole process, and he thought it was stupid. thought it was a waste of my time, and he just absolutely refuses to even talk about it, see it. Okay, anyways, I just started wandering off on my own little self-pity thoughts. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so, like, that's all I wanted to talk about right now. I just needed to get that off my chest. I hope you guys have a good day, and I will talk to you later.